Hi, I'm Jo. Welcome to this week's edition of Junior Rangers. This week, our challenge is to find out about camouflage. And how different animals make use of it. So come and join me, Jo. And me, Annie. And we'll show you how camouflage works. Many animals use their camouflage markings to keep themselves safe from animals that are trying to hunt them. And the hunting animals also use camouflage so they can creep up on their prey. But how does camouflage work? Here's Joe, stood out in the bushes. It's very easy to see him with his ordinary clothes on. So what we need to do is look at changing his clothes for some that blend with the colours around him. There, that's better. You can easily see that he is starting to blend in with the background, but you can still see his face and hands very clearly. OK, we have him all the right colours to blend in with the background, and it's already becoming harder to see him. But there's still a hard outline. He's the right colour, but he's not the same texture as the background. So what can we do to help that? That's good. Now, Joe's hat is the same texture as the background as well as the same colour. And let's see what happens when he crouches down. So, he's crouched down like an animal and look how he blends in with the background. And that's how camouflage works. So let's take a look at some of the animals here at Longleat and see how they use camouflage. Have a close look at these giraffe and the zebra. They both come from the same places in Africa, but their markings are very different. They both use their markings to protect themselves from the animals that are hunting them, the predators. But the giraffes have patches and the zebras have stripes. How can they both work? Well, in the wild, the giraffes eat the leaves from the trees and animals are most at risk when they are eating. But the giraffes' patches look like the dappled sunlight that comes through the branches of the trees and this makes them much harder to see. The zebra's stripes are very different. Zebras are usually found in herds and although it's easy to spot an individual zebra, when there is a group of them, all the stripes merge together and it becomes a blur of black and white stripes. It is then very hard for a predator to spot an individual zebra, making them much harder to catch. But it's not just big animals that use camouflage. Let's see what animals Annie's looking at. I'm in the butterfly garden. Lots of the butterflies here are very colourful, but some of them are masters of camouflage and they use it in two different ways. Now you may think this is a leaf, but that's what the butterfly wants you to think, especially if you're a bird looking for a tasty meal and old leaves aren't very tasty. Now, this butterfly has big patterns on its wings, so you'd think it'd be easy for a bird to see. But just look at those large spots. To a bird, they look like the eyes of a much larger animal. So they'll be scared of trying to eat it, in case it tries to eat them. All the animals we've looked at so far use camouflage to help protect themselves from predators. But what if you are a predator? How can you use camouflage to help you hunt? Look at that tiger. She's a meat-eating predator. In the wild, tigers stalk their prey. They like to eat deer, antelope and wild boar. But with those stripes, they should be able to see the tiger coming a mile away. I certainly can. But the tiger hunts in evening and at night time. Many animals have different eyesight to us. They cannot see in colour. And in the half light of the evening, 
The tiger's stripes help it fade into the undergrowth. If you would like to know more about camouflage, you can download an activity sheet. Just click on the green download arrow next to the program title for the downloads for that program. And check out the other programs as well, as some have details of competitions, discount vouchers and special events. So that's how animals use camouflage. Most of them use it as a way of blending into the background and avoid becoming a predator's lunch. But there are some that use it as a way to appear much more fierce and confuse the predators. Rawr! And predators use it to creep up on their prey. It's not fair. Well, we've really enjoyed making this week's show and we hope you've enjoyed it too. But what are we doing next time? Let's find out from Joseph, who's in Perth in Scotland. Hi, I'm Joseph. I'm doing a school project on big African animals. Can the Junior Rangers help me find out what's the most dangerous animal in Africa? So that's our challenge for next time. We look forward to seeing you again when our next show goes out on April the 9th. And join us in our search for the most dangerous animal in Africa.